Hello, and welcome back to another video of Calc Nerd. So today's video is going to be on a slide puzzle game that I have created. It entails a 4x4 grid of 15 numbers and also a blank space. And basically, the objective is to get all of the numbers in the correct order. So it gives you a random order, which is a legal order because I, uh, the way that I generate it, uh, it actually makes legal moves every time. It goes in a random direction and uh, scrambles the puzzle. So you have to get the numbers in the correct order, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you move down a line, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on. So uh, that is basically what the slide puzzle game is. So now let me show you uh, what it looks like and then how you can program it on your own calculator. Okay, now let me show you what the game looks like and how you play it. So I'm going to run program slide here. And as you can see, it gives a nice little menu here. Uh, you click the one key for easy, two for medium, and three for hard. Uh, just because uh, I'm going to click easy here, just because it won't take quite as long to generate. Um, just because you do an easy puzzle does not mean that it will be uh, easier necessarily than a hard puzzle. Um, a hard puzzle just has more moves uh, it, when it's scrambling, more moves than a medium and an easy, or a medium has more than an easy, and so on. So, as you can see, it has generated the puzzle, so now I can freely move around using the arrow keys to uh, select whatever one that I would like to. So let's say I want to move this three. Uh, because the blank space is near it uh, in one of the cardinal directions uh, or up, down, left, and right, I can click enter and it will automatically move it in whatever direction uh, that it needs to be moved. So I am currently uh, doing a little bit of solving right now, actually, that turned out kind of nice. Um, so the blank space will obviously be one uh, that you move all the stuff to. So just click enter when you're over whatever you want to move to the blank space and it will move it in whatever direction the blank space is in. Uh, so that is basically how you do the slide puzzle. Um, there's not much else to it. Uh, it's just kind of a fun uh, game to play and it gives your brain a little bit of a workout. Um, so yeah, let me do a time lapse of me solving a few puzzles and then I'll come back so you can program this on your own calculator. Okay, now let me show you how you can program this on your own calculator. So I'm going to go to program slide here. So we're going to start off with a clear home for a comma one comma seven. I'll put it a comma one comma sub a quote space and then slider and then a quote comma a comma one. I'll put it a comma 16 comma sub uh, a quote a space puzzle a quote uh, comma a comma one. So what that's doing is setting up the vertical uh, stuff on the sides, and then we're going to get to the horizontal in just a second, and then also end to end that for loop, uh, which creates a very efficient way to do stuff on the sides. I'll put it one comma one comma quote a plus, a bunch of minuses in a plus. The way to know if you have a, enough minuses, if you do the same border, you can uh, make whatever kind of border you want, I guess. Uh, the quote, uh, the plus will be directly below the quote. You can also imagine if I cover this up, uh, the plus and the two minuses here would complete a whole line uh, if you just moved them down one. So that's an easy way to tell if you have 16 characters. I'll put it eight comma one comma quote, the plus and a bunch of minuses again. So I'm just completing uh, the horizontal stuff there that just gives it a nice look. Uh, I'll put a two comma five comma quote a one a parenthesis a space and easy. I'll put a four comma five comma quote a two parenthesis space and medium, or just med uh, with a period. I'll put it six comma five comma quote a three a parenthesis a space and hard. Repeat until sum of k is equal to the list of ninety two comma ninety three comma ninety four comma eighty two. Uh, make sure you do get this, uh, what I call the fancy parenthesis or fancy bracket. Uh, you uh, just take the parenthesis button and you click second before it. So second and then the parenthesis button. 
and that will get you the one that you need. Uh, so this is making sure that K is indeed uh, one of the numbers here, which uh, is the number of the keys, uh, which I will explain in a future video of get key stuff. Um, so basically it's just, it assigns a number to each button and that it happens to be uh, what the one, two, three, and four buttons uh, are. And I, I am sorry, I did forget to mention uh, earlier in the video that if you click the four button, it will give you what I would consider a new game, uh, which basically is just all of the stuff, but it's already solved. Um, so if you want to play around with scrambling it or you and your friends or whatever, uh, if you want to like make a certain scramble or you find a cool one that you want to try, you can do it like that. So it is just like that. So then uh, get key store into K and K minus 91 store into K, 75 plus 50 multiplied by K store into K. Output at 8 comma 4 comma quote loading and three dots. Uh, Delver matrix A and 6 comma 6 store into the dimensions in matrix A and also Delver A. For Y comma 2 comma 5 and for X comma 2 comma 5, uh, a plus 1 store into A. Uh, a store into matrix A at Y comma X. So that's just setting up uh, the matrix to be uh, what it, I would consider the new condition. Uh, so after that is done, then we scramble it up. 5 store into Y and 5 store into X. For A comma 1 comma K, random 1 comma 4 store into I, X store into B and Y store into C, minimum 5 comma maximum 2, uh, comma x plus i is equal to 3 minus i is equal to 1 store into x min 5 comma max 2 comma y plus i is equal to 4 minus i is equal to 2 store into y matrix a at y comma x store into matrix a at c comma b and 16 store into matrix a at y comma x so basically what this does is it uh, gets two positions uh, one of them is always the one where the space will be and the other one is just one of the other numbers. And what it does is it just swaps them uh, like that. So then we have clear home for y comma one comma four and for x comma one comma four. Uh, if matrix A at y plus one comma x plus one is not equal to 16, uh, so 16 just won't get anything, it will be spaces. So I don't wanna output a 16. Uh, output at two y minus one comma four x minus two comma matrix A at y plus one comma x plus one. If matrix A at y plus one comma x plus one is equal to 16, then x store into C and y store into B. And three ends right there. One store into x and one store into y. So now we're getting into the part where your uh, is the main game loop. So everything else was just setting up uh, for the main game loop. Uh, repeat until k is equal to 45. Get key store into k. I'll put it 2y minus 1, comma, 4x minus 3, comma, quote, a bracket, or whatever you want to call that. Uh, to find that, uh, it is, I believe, yes, the multiplication button. You just click second and the multiplication button to get that. And you can use different symbols if you would like. I just chose that because it uh, gives a nice border around the number. Int log matrix A at y plus 1, comma, x plus 1. Uh, I'll put it 2y minus 1 comma 4x minus, or yes, minus 1 plus uh, the fact that answer is a thing uh, right there. Uh, it is referring back to this line right here, uh, comma, quote, and then another bracket. If sum of k is equal to 24 comma 25 comma 26 comma 34 comma 105, uh, that is all the arrow keys and then enter is 105 at the end there. Then I'll put it 2y minus 1 comma 4x minus 3 comma quote, and I believe that is one space. Uh, yes, just one space. Uh, int log matrix A y plus 1 comma x plus 1. I'll put it 2y minus 1 comma 4x minus 1 comma quote, uh, or sorry, 4x minus 1 plus answer and then comma quote, and then your space right there. Um, so that is also checking to see uh, how many places or how many digits are in uh, the number where you are on matrix A. And if it's two, you don't want to cover up the number. So let's say if it's a two digit number, it's going to put one here and one here, uh, if that made sense. Min four comma max one comma X uh, 
plus k is equal to 26, minus k is equal to 24, store in x. Min 4, comma, max 1, comma, y, plus k is equal to 34, minus k is equal to 25, store in y. If k is equal to 105, then if uh, three parentheses, absolute value of y minus b is equal to 1, multiplied by the fact that x minus c is equal to 0, or the absolute value of x minus c is equal to 1, multiplied by the fact that y minus b is equal to 0, then, uh, so basically what this is doing, and make sure you do not forget any parentheses here because they are extremely important. Even if you are missing just one, your game will not work right. So just make sure you get that line in. Uh, basically what that line is doing is it's saying uh, if the, uh, let's just say in the middle of here, pretend there is the space, it's uh, comparing the distances from all of the four directions. Uh, and if you're two things, if you're like diagonal, it won't work. Uh, it's making sure that your either up direction is one and the other direction is zero, or your left and right direction is one and the other direction you didn't move any. Uh, so it's just making sure that you moved just one of the directions. Uh, matrix A of y plus 1 comma x plus 1 store in a matrix A at b plus 1 comma c plus 1 and 16 store in a matrix A at y plus 1 comma x plus 1. I'll put it 2y minus 1 comma 4x minus 2 comma quote a space. I'll put it 2b minus 1 comma 4c minus 2 comma matrix A at b plus 1 comma c plus 1. Uh, or I believe actually this is two spaces. Uh, yeah, that's two spaces. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, X torn to C and Y torn to B. End, 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 end. And that is uh, all there is to the main game loop. And then it's just the nice message at the end. Delver C and Delver A. For Y comma 1 comma 4. For X comma 1 comma 4. C plus 1 torn to C. If matrix A at Y plus 1 comma X plus 1 is equal to C, A plus 1 torn to A. And two ends there. If A is equal to 16, then clear home and display, you solved the puzzle, and then end. And that is all there is to this program. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I know that I enjoy playing this slide puzzle game. Uh, it's a pretty fun uh, game to play. So as always, uh, thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope you uh, consider subscribing. Uh, it just lets me know that uh, you like my content. Uh, join the Discord server. We have almost, I think, like 20 people, so that's pretty awesome. So, I hope you have a great day, and as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.